first issue. First issue we're gonna cover. I know Larry is ready for this one. The thought <laughs> that is out here trying to get her somebody else while her man is sick. Fellas, y'all know I got a DJ now and I got footage. DJ oh, like footage. Bro, that footage. How old is your daughter? She's nine months. So where's her father? What's going on with you guys? Um, he's in the hospital, so yeah, he's been he's very ill, so I'm looking for like a stepfather. Wait, so you broke up with him while he's in the hospital? No, I no, I didn't break up with him. Were y'all not together when he went to the hospital? <laughs> yeah, we we're still together. Wait, okay. I'm looking for like a, you know, just in case. Oh, just in case. I don't make it home case. tonight. Just in case if he passes away. Right. Are you serious? Yes, Kendra, you have to have one in the chamber. Kendra, come on now. Okay. But wait, shouldn't you be holding him down? Why is he in the hospital? I can't. I can't go to the hospital because it's like you know, all the hospitals are shut down. Shouldn't you be waiting to see? Like, is it not looking good? It's not looking good. Mm. Are you a comedian? No, Ken no, Kendra, I'm not a comedian. I'm so you're serious. This, this, this is serious. I'm serious. We have, a, we have a type of relationship that's like, we're very realistic. My husband is much older than me as well. How old is your husband? Um, He's 65. He'll be 66 in a month or less, a little bit less than a month. How old are you? 32. Well, I hope your husband survives, and I hope he too. And, I, and then I hope he divorces your ass. Well, that's enough of oh. that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not funny, but man, I just can't help but laugh. And, oh my God, Lord, oh. have mercy. Boy, the thirst is serious out here. I'm going to give it to T-Stream first, because he looked like he the most bothered. <laughs> man. T-Stream, it's on you first, baby. What's the deal? Man, I tell you, man, I I can't roll with it, man. I can't roll with it. The year of the thoughts is up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> God, that's a new that's a new Chinese uh, astrological sign. Yeah, you know, <laughs> the year of the thoughts. <laughs> and you know, it's it's really you know it's it's getting bad out there, and you you see it, you know, as. It started out like in Hollywood and stuff, and now it's coming in the hood. But it probably been in the hood. You know, back in the day, they just used to, you know, folks just guys just used to be sugar daddy and stuff like that. But man, is you know, I don't even know. I really don't even know what to say about old girl. She, you know, God, God bless her soul. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, get in there, man. Larry, get in there. T, T Strings want to be nice today. Get on in there, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> this, see, this, this is the thing. This is, it's, see, this is one of those things when women, when women get mad and say, oh, dudes are just dogs. They just use us because we realize what our position is. We realize when we're 65 and we're with a 30 year old girl that she just wants us for our ends and that's it so as soon as we lose interest cool dump and move on and and that's it and and don't feel bad about it she's using this dude she probably she probably told this dude all the time oh i love you you're so special this age to get for difference doesn't really mean anything yada 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 it's all a bunch of bs she wants someone to take care of her she probably had that baby on her arm so that so that you know so that she can be taken care of. That's probably not even a baby. That's probably just a paycheck with with, with eyes and ears. You know, I mean, yeah. but you. That, I mean, in all in all seriousness, that that right there is truly offensive. I mean, you have the dude that's in the hospital with COVID, and she's up there talking about she's trying to find a, a financial <laughs> replacement for dude. I mean, you know. I hope I, I really do hope that that dude recovers and then he's just like deuces I'm out take your shit and be gone I hope if they are married I hope that I hope he has a, a airtight freaking prenup and she gets <laughs> tossed you know if Bruh. that's their kid together hopefully he gets full custody and she can go back out in the thoughtsville and 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 do what she does so L I mean, Larry 
the, his body ain't even room temperature and she's trying to find a replacement now yeah. she, she did say you know i i always have to play devil's advocate she did say they had some kind of an understanding however bet, however on, however it don't matter the understanding you might have with someone if you really care about them you're not going to be as cavalier as this chick was in that interview with whomever that that lady was yeah, you, well. you you're not going to be so um she was festive in her behaviors i mean she she didn't seem like she was distraught sad or anything it was more so oh well keep it pushing right yeah, there there was there was no there was no emotion there was there was there was nothing there and it, she almost she almost gave the tone like like that was you know you the know plan yeah and so you know like if the understanding what what kind of understanding can you have with with someone that's uh 30 years younger than you other than the fact that this is what this is is you know this is what this is i'm i'm, I'm here for the time being we're not going to put 30 years into it because i'm already 30 above you so it's just uh you know it's just a grind time thing and some ends um yeah. but- See, and that's and I agree with you, T Streams. It's probably one of those things where she's talking about they have an understanding. They probably talked about it, and he probably said, Look, I'm 60 years old, you're 30 years old. When my time comes, I want you to move on and be happy and go find someone else to love. Mm-hmm. That doesn't that that's a whole different thing than I'm in a hospital sick, so basically just go start looking right now. Nah, how about <laughs> you wait till I'm dead and mourn a little bit? And then after your morning period, you go find somebody else. Not just okay, he's sick. Let me just go ahead and start going and uh, and finding a new dude right now. I mean, yeah, man. I, I mean, any 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 dude with half a lick of sense can be able, you know, and having a conversation with this chick should be able to do the math and be like, wait a minute, she just this dude just died. She's already with me, which means she probably met me while he was sick. I mean, I don't know what type of dude that. I would want to wipe up a chick like that but there i mean there's a lot of real thirsty dudes out there too so i don't yeah. know and so you know? It, it what it does is it actually it it, it actually puts some cheese on the thirst trap because the average and the average joe now that this is all out you know the dude with the common sense you know when he when he approaches her and this, and he's made aware of this he's not trying to be the replacement because then if he's mm. the replacement then he had to look forward to his replacement right so you know it's it's gonna always be it's gonna always be that that one that one person that that's like i don't give a damn i'm just trying to cut and they think they're going into it with this uh Mm -hmm. with this i'm gonna get the last laugh type deal on each other and they both end up playing the fool right Yeah. yeah And this is, and I'll, and I'll say this. I think this is a direct result of. Don't get me wrong, because I know that I'm probably a few years older than you guys a little bit. But this is a direct result of some of the culture that has come up from probably like the last ten or fifteen years, where you have this whole, you had this whole stripper mentality thing, where people like I think it was who was it T Pain that came out that song I'm in love with a stripper, mm-hmm. you know? I mean, it's it's like this whole idea that oh yeah i'm gonna it's okay to be a it's okay to be a thought it's okay to be other woman it's okay to be a stripper it's okay to be a prostitute it's okay to sell your body if you're trying to you know if there's an end to this mean you know if you're trying to get a a ends to means whatever and so i think you end up with women who are basically just living their life like that they're out there literally selling themselves and they're not thinking them they're not thinking of themselves as prostitutes because they're not on a street corner or selling you know posting ads on craigslist or something but they're basically operating in the same space as a sex worker. They're just basically selling their body for sex. They have no, any kind of emotional attachment or anything else with the person they're with. They're simply supplying this person with, with sexual favor and in exchange, this person is taking care of them financially. I would say, yeah, I would say if both people are in for that, you know, hey, let them do it. But yeah. if, to, to go a little deeper on what Larry said, it ain't just, you know, prostitution, sex workers. This is something that has been being taught to people since they came over here on a boat and saw Christopher Columbus. You get with a man 
who has security so he can take care of you, whether you love him or not. You just be the best uh, mother to his kids, the best um, homemaker you can to him, and you just deal with whatever he wants you to deal with. It seems like the roles are reversing now where women are on the tail end of this thing, getting me a rich man. They on the Anna Nicole end where you get someone who's so damn old, he puts you on his insurance policy and he is three steps away from kicking the bucket. Right. So, and I'm going to careen from this one thought to another thought. But before I do that, please go to shoplifegains.com. You'll find beautiful Michelle Obama t-shirts in there. This one comes from my boy, James B. He know who he is. Christmas colors because my best Christmas wish this year would be Joe Biden picking Michelle Obama to be like vice that. president. And that would be my favorite Christmas wish come true.